All right, looks like we're good to go. Both players gave the thumbs up, and here we go for a very, very exciting start to this game. It's going to be a Pac-Man versus pa uh, Peach. So both players really have to look out for either's game plan. Pac-Man's Gallagher for one, and turnip combos for the other. And oh my gosh, bless the RNG. We already got a stitch from the second pool. Oh, yeah, great stuff from Seafall. I love the awareness. Used um, all the way to the third jump just so he can get as much velocity to catch, get himself back to the ledge. Nice stuff. It's going to be a very, very tough game. Um, yeah, for in terms of RNG, I'll always say, though, that Ramon certainly has one of the strongest uh, RNGs out there. I think Ramon... Maybe someone could correct me, but Ramon, I believe, is qualified. So, uh, look forward to his Peach gameplay in DSS final. We might be looking towards getting another Peach, because Carnage is everyone's favorite to win today's tournament. Then again, we also have a lot of hard hitters. C4 is a hard hitter. NS. Uh, I would even go as far to say it's Ricochet. And, uh... Yeah, maybe Robbie if he does the mad run back from losers. But Carnage, you know, he's doing good. Doing good, very comfortable. He had a long hiatus from playing, and um, he, I don't know what caused him to come back, but I'm thankful that he did. He's um, doing quite well. He's, he's, he's been warming himself up again for tournaments and, and the bracket life. C4 though, he's quite struggling in the Peach matchup. Um, it'll be a whole different bread right now he's fighting. The back throw actually going to take it. Uh, the little hip check going to send C4 all the way to the other side. Okay, we're getting some fancy schmancy shit right there with the bell into the Hydrant. Um, one thing I love is just Hydrant use with the projectiles. Like you can get some real crazy stuff going on um, just even throwing it against the water um, you get some really really funky angles going on depending on what you use as an item um, I would love to see Turner being abused against the water too that would be like the ultimate BM right there okay just if, if he can catch a turn of that is all right, great back. Oh, ooh, okay, yeah. He was stuck in that shield stun right there from the stitches. What's up, Ruffy? Airfire, how you doing? And Big Bad Manners, welcome to the stream. Oh, great parry, but you know what it is with Peach um, Side Bomber, or whatever it's called, something bomber. It's safe, completely safe. I'm not even sure how well um, it would be if C4 followed up with a fair. But good on C4. Did a great job to actually bring Carnage all the way back down to the final stop. He's not even opting for a Galaga at this point. And you know what? I, I like it. I think it's a bit too predictable when Pac-Mans go for Galaga all the time at early low percent. Sometimes you just got to find the opportunity to get in and build up the damage without it. Show that you don't have to rely on, on one use all the time. And if anyone says, yeah, but Rami, you Samus charge shot, then you're correct too. <laughs> uh, we're getting the turn up. Tries to catch him with the normal get up, turn up, down throw, but instead of the float and uh, the, the chunky ass, which is going to take that stock. So, yeah. Strong start from Carnage. So, not it's strong, but could have been a bit better, possibly. I mean, it's, it's not entirely GG's. From here on out, I think C4 did a great job to bring it down to the final stop. Um, just a couple of opportunities uh, backfired against him, which made him take a hell of a lot of damage. Just needs to fine tune his gameplay, and, and it could work out. All right, here we go. Oh, that's good to see, FR. 
Mate, ask the barber to let you have the phone on the table. Just put it on mute and watch it. Be a good, a good way to kill time while you get your hair cut. Okay, yeah. Great stuff. Um, goes for the slap. And yeah, this this is very tough. I mean, Carnage has always been known for strong ledge traps. Oh my gosh, and I say that, look at it, just air smash right off the top. C4, you, you know he's never going to overshoot that ledge again. Carnage just sent a message right there. Just completely fired one off with the golf club. Alright, yeah, lovely. That that nail was crucial. The second hit of downer didn't come out in time for Carnage to be out the parry. Oh yeah. Uh, Great rollout, um, Carnage slight hesitation to follow up, but correct choice to chase him all the way to the edge of the platform. Ooh, shield was dwindling there, back throw not going to be enough. C4 doing a great job, oh my gosh, if that down air fully connected, I would be pretty confident to say that it would have taken the stock too. Alright, yeah, Hydrant kind of throwing Carnage off balance. Got Bell in hand, this is it. Oh, okay, yeah, just... Both players kind of watching each other there, trying to see what other the other would throw out. All right, here we go. The edge guard situation, and yeah, you know Carnage got them angles. You know he don't miss. He'll he'll snipe you out. I think I really doubt C4 would be going high anytime soon now, especially after the golf club and the turnip catchouts. Uh, free stocks to one. Carnage just looking so strong right now. Oh my gosh, with the hydrant help as well, manages to get two back airs going. It's bell in hand. He's gonna need to take the stock soon. It's not out of the woodworks yet though. 171, just C4 struggling to get this kill. Yeah. Pac Man is just one of those characters in the long list of, of characters that can have a difficult time to take stocks. Build up damage, fine, but um, having a move to actually finish it is, is something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, great, great use of the throwing it right up. And I like the side B from C4 as well. Very rapid to get back on. Pardon? Uh, I've got some Red Bull. Thank you, man. Oh, the, oh no, the counter. Oh, the counter. Toad. Oh, yeah. Damn, Pac-Man reeled back from all that ass. He's like, whoa. <laughs> now, nah, he's looking like um, <laughs> that animation of Pac-Man getting hit. Um... What's the guy's name? The, the guy from Simpsons, Burns, Bur Montgomery Burns, like Sideman. Ah, we'll come back to him later. Can't believe I forgot his name. Such a like a staple in the in the show. Anyway, Smithers. Yeah. <laughs> Smithers. Uh, Pac-Man is cannot handle all the ass right there. Yeah, yeah Smithers, man. They were going for FD uh, for C4's counter pick, and it's a great counter pick. I'm kind of surprised Carnage didn't really ban it. Um, you always want a platform against uh, Pac-Man because Hydrin, and obviously you can have some cover over your head in case they throw fruits or projectiles from above. So it's a bit of a weird choice not to ban it, but hey ho. Maybe Peach has her own benefits to it. I, I really got to see that side B hit again from uh, from Carnage. <laughs> Pac Man was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> okay, so. Three stocks to two, I'm not going to say the number. Yeah, and the Gallagher instead though. Alright, 
good good patience from Carter, just finding his momentum, finding his way back in. Great. Um, I like the I like the way Carnage is playing. Even though he's at a deficit, it's not like he's he's flustering or throwing out unnecessary moves or choices. He's making sure he can stick to his game plan and, and the damage will, will come its way. Oh, but that down there was a bit too far off though. Now that I say it, could have been a free punish in the other way. Gets the turnip into fair. The standard! Throws that tiara out. Great stuff. Oh, nice block. Carnage once again. Carnage really wants to get himself down to the winner's semis. The C4, lovely use of the back air. Catching the turn up in hand. And yeah, he's doing a good job, C4. Until he got grabbed, because Carnage is coming back hard right now. Edge guard situation, we've seen this before. You don't want to be in that position against Peach. C4, lovely uh, grab. Gets himself back on the ledge, but into a precarious situation. Turn up in hand, loses the trampoline, throws one out again. What's the situation? What's the edge guard? He's going to go for a simple jab. Lovely. It's a slow tumble of the hydrant. Ah! Ah! Another turn up. You don't miss. It's tennis out here. Oh my gosh. Just throwing out these haymakers. And we get the booty call right there on the side of me. Change the score. Thank you very much. What is the score? Oh, I forgot to hit save, that's why. It's 1-0, isn't it? Yeah, it's 1-0. Uh, wow, okay. I missed that, but C4 actually uh, coming, coming in well with a final stock situation. Okay, yeah. Uh, Carnage kind of overshooting that jump over there. It's a good idea. Whenever throw hydrant it's it's also an option to punish the end lag after Ooh, just for pardon is it two i was thinking it was one -0. was it oh it was okay yeah all right well apparently it was two -0. so here we go the carnage actually now it's when it's stuck then so c4 on the on the ropes here Oh, lovely. Float cancel gets the grab. 121% on C4. It dodges past the the side B. Oh my gosh, that up smash was scarier. You know, when Khan starts throwing out those smash attacks, you got to be extra careful. What is that hitbox? It hit from way up there. Um, yep, yeah, GG's. Well done.